ordinary looking photos with disturbing backstories. This would have been a great photo as well if it weren't for the looming sense of doom we have begun to develop by looking at these photos. The photo of this man and his daughter was taken in Oma, Ireland in 1998. For those who don't know, this was the date a paramilitary group called the Real IRA planted a bomb inside a red car, killing 29 people. The man and his daughter somehow survived after posing for a picture in front of that very same car. You might not think much of this photo at first, but it was taken moments before an even more historical photograph was taken. Notice the man holding groceries in the upper right corner and the tanks in the upper left. This image was taken shortly before the famous tank man photo and video that depicted a man's attempt to stop the procession of tanks after the infamous Tiananmen Square protests. This is an eerie yet charming photo. Unfortunately, the story behind it isn't quite as charming. The woman pictured is Myra Hindley. She and her lover Ian Brady were the perpetrators behind the Moors murders. They would kidnap, sexually abuse, and kill their victims, who were all children, and bury them in the British Moors before snapping a picture of Hindley standing over them. These innocent-looking young adults seem to be having the time of their lives. It's shocking to see just how happy and content they look after you understand who these people really are. As it turns out, these are Auschwitz staff members who decided to pose for a picture on a day off from work. After sending countless people to their deaths, it's hard to believe they could be so calm and collected. This one is just as disturbing as the last. At first glance, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong. But upon closer inspection, especially the setting, it becomes more clear that there's more to this photo. These are a group of Jewish people, with children and families hand in hand, walking unknowingly to their deaths in the gas chambers. It's horrifying to see the moments leading up to the deaths of innocent people. You might not know it at first, as almost no one recognized this man themselves while watching him on this dating game show. His name is Rodney Alcalca, and by the time of his appearance on this show, he had already raped and murdered several women. He managed to become a contestant on this show, and he even ended up winning. However, he didn't end up going on the date with the woman who knew something was off and creepy about him. This one is actually not a nice picture at all when you first look at it. You can already tell that something is wrong here. That man and girl are Delano Floyd and Suzanne Marie Savakis. The man was a disturbed individual who kidnapped Suzanne as a child and raised her as his daughter, only to subsequently marry her and then murder her in a hit-and-run incident she was not his only victim. This may look like a bunch of astronauts enjoying their opportunity to experience zero-g forces, because that's exactly what's going on. But what you may not know is the disaster waiting in store for them. These were the seven crewmates of the Columbia Space Shuttle. A piece of polyurethane foam applied to the shuttle broke off and heavily damaged the spacecraft. Upon re-entry, the shuttle broke apart, killing all seven crew members on board. Another beautiful picture that hides a terrible past. Some of you may recognize this picture of Jeannie. For those who don't know, she was a child kept locked up for her entire life before being rescued from her prison. She was abused and punished for even the slightest noise, and due to years of neglect missed the critical period needed to learn how to speak and use language to communicate. She eventually managed to learn a few communication skills and was found to be a curious and intelligent person. This is Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi during one of his campaigns. He took office after his mother was assassinated. Unfortunately, he would meet a similar fate moments after this photograph was taken. A woman by the name of Thinmazhi Rajaratnam, a member of the Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, had planned to assassinate him by suicide bombing. In a show of respect, she bent down to touch the prime minister's feet, but detonated a bomb strapped to her, killing him and at least 14 other people. You may recognize this man as John Lennon. If you did, you know that this picture can't be anything good. Heck, looking at this list at all has probably already determined that for you. This is a picture of him signing an autograph for his killer, 
Mark Chapman, hours before the incident took place. Chapman even had the gun he used to kill him on his person by this point. At first glance, this picture doesn't seem so bad at all. In fact, it doesn't technically have a moments before or after story to it. But as you know, this picture can only be hiding what is a dark past. This is the Hartley violin owned by Wallace Hartley. He was the lead violinist for the Titanic's band and was last seen performing for the passengers to help calm them during the boat's sinking. It was found among the floating debris having been placed back into its case for safekeeping. A smile is nice, but obviously very ominous on this list. This is the physicist Harold Agnew, one of the scientists who worked on the atomic bombs during World War II. It's not going to get better from here. The machine that he is clutching in his hand is actually the core to the fat man bomb dropped on Nagasaki. It would go on to cause the death of tens of thousands of innocent people both as direct deaths and those caused by the aftermath of the radiation. This would have been a beautiful shot as it has such a perfect third-person view of the picture the girl is taking. It's shocking to learn, though, that the one who took this photo would immediately shoot the girl in the back of the head and push her off the cliff. The man, Lauren Bunner, was this girl's ex-boyfriend. Jolie Callan, the victim, had eerily said to her friend the day before, if something happens to me, you'll know who I was with. He would later brag to his cellmates about the murder saying, if he couldn't have her, no one could. You may not think much of this photo considering its quality, but this was of high importance to the case of two-year-old James Bulger's disappearance. In fact, the police had hope that he would be found considering this image depicts him with other children. Unfortunately, that would not be the case. The children with Bulger are actually his kidnappers and murderers, Robert Thompson and John Venables, aged 10 years old at the time. They led Bulger away from his mother and tortured the child and dumped his body two days later. This is a perfectly retro photograph of Julie Sund and Sylvina Palazzo at the Yosemite Cedar Lodge Motel taken by Julie's mom, Carol. Unfortunately, it would be the last photo ever taken of the girls. They had been under watch by one of the staff of the lodge, Carrie Stainer. The day after this photo was taken, he murdered the three women along with another woman unrelated to the other three. Another picture, another tragedy, though this one was caused by more natural means than the others. That doesn't make it any less sad, however. So be prepared to cry a little. This is David A. Johnston. He was an American volcanologist. You can already see where this one is going. On May 18, 1980, he was taken a picture of near Mount St. Helens. Only 13 hours later, the volcano erupted, killing 57 people including him. This one is less, so a tragedy and more, so a sad story. While this happened due to natural causes, we can't say it's any less sad than any other entry to this list. This is Howard Ashman and Alan Menken who together wrote the lyrics and music for The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, and Aladdin. This is them winning their Oscars for The Little Mermaid. Unfortunately, it would be the last documented photo of these two together, as Ashman was soon to die of AIDS. This would be an awesome picture if it weren't for the obvious reason these guys' hair is standing on end. This is the moment just before these two brothers were struck by lightning. The boys and their sister had been hiking the Sierra Nevada in 1975 when this happened. A hiker outside the frame was killed and several others were also struck by lightning. The boys and their sister managed to survive, thankfully. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Let's make life fun.